just to work at thinking critically. Welcome to Young Scientist Lesson One. So today we're going to talk about learning. Let's pray and we'll get started. Welcome to Lesson Two, Measurement, Temperature, Precision, Accuracy, and Probability. Lots of fun stuff. Greetings. Today, we're talking about the scientific method. Welcome to Lesson Five, The Skeletal System One. Don't feel like you have to cover everything I present in the lesson. We would say that this pink or purple, whatever this is, dot, is lateral to the green dot. What we mean is, this one is farther away from the midline of the body. Remember, this is the midline of the body right here. Then the green dot is, so it is lateral to it. I am looking forward to class. I think you'll have some fun with this. Sally Skeleton here is not standing. If she's lying flat, then it's no longer true that the head is superior to the knee, right? But if I say in anatomical position, the head is superior to the knee, then that is true because standing, the head is above or higher than the knee. And you as parent decide uh, where you think your child should be in there. Obviously in real life, there is not a space here. So you see in between each of these ribs, that is muscle five or six bones right here. Just like the wrist, these make up the, the upper part of the foot, the beginning of the ankle, that we're looking at a, a wide grade range. Grade range. So if you look at where a muscle is, we talked about the deltoid, picturing where it is, picturing what happens if it pulls in, on its connections. So that's how you think through what the action of a muscle is. When you talk about their lats, the lat muscle, you're talking about the latissimus dorsi. There's so much, right, in chemistry, biology, anatomy, and physiology that can and should be sketched. One of the things the students were amazed at was the size of the aorta. It is, it is the, the diameter of about a quarter in an adult, if you think about that. That is huge. We do this in a way that I think is enjoyable to students, and they learn a lot at the same time. So you don't learn anything fully mastered you know, with a pass or two or three. It takes repetition. That's how we learn anything. Is the deep femoral artery. And this continues deep, meaning not on the surface of the skin, but deep. The trachea is made of a, a fairly tough but flexible tissue, and we call this exercise-induced asthma. So some people never experience asthma except when they're exercising. And what scientists who study this have figured out is that it's mostly cold and or dry air that tends to be the biggest problem for people with exercise-induced asthma. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it.